he was. Just one what, but plenty of bolts, as they say. Well, anything in trousers, yes. Walk out of them, preferably. Huh? Oh, no, I'm just lighting up. Go on. Oh, I heard that with her mother in the same room. No, no, of course I won't. Go on. Basil. Yes, dear. No, who saw them? Basil. Yes, dear. Do you come and attend to a gentleman out here, dear? Nineteen? What do you mean out there where you are, dear? Well, the last one was able to be <laughs> nineteen. He was. Actually, I'm quite busy in here, dear. Are you very busy out there? I'm on the telephone, Basil. I have some will be with you in a moment. Yes, thank you. So I'll stop work and come and help out there, shall I, dear? No, 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 the Maltese one. I'm glad that's settled then. No, dear, he was an Arab. Darling, when you've finished, why don't you go and have a nice lie down? I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting, sir. I had no idea my wife was so busy. You <laughs> must come, sir. It matters not one whit. I beg your pardon? It matters not one whit. Time is not pressing on me, fortunately. And now, some information, please. This afternoon, I have to visit the town for sundry purposes, which will be of no use to you, I'm quite sure. But nevertheless, I shall require your aid in getting for me some sort of transport, some hired vehicle, that is, to get me to my first port of call. Are you all right? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. I find the idea most invigorating. I see. Well, but that, did I gather from your first announcement that you want a taxi? In a nutshell. Case for that. Ah, oh, that's too much, please. Well, that's another one over the phone. Oh, well, could, could you get that for me? For I never use the telephone if I can avoid it. Why not? Risk of infection, you see. <laughs> now, I have a rendezvous at five o'clock with this address, which I must reach from the post office in Queen's Square. Now, as my map is sadly inadequate, I would be most grateful if you could give me a diagram of the optimum route. Well, may I ask what's wrong with the map? Well, it's got curry on it. Well, look, it's, it's perfect. Yes. <laughs> you go to the end of Queen's Parade. No, 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 just listen. Well, I'd rather have a diagram. No, no, it really is very simple. Well, I'd rather have a diagram if it doesn't put you out. Well, it does put me out. Well, I like it all the same. <laughs> Basil! Right. <laughs> we do have pins. Oh, yeah? We have actually got pins in the hotel, thank you so much. Somewhere. I mean, I mean, would you believe it? There are no pins here. I mean, where are the pins? I mean, this is supposed to be a hotel. Well, what are they doing there? I put them there. Why? To sign in, Saul. Because you're always losing them, Basil. I am not always losing them. People take them. Well, they don't take them from me. They wouldn't dare. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry that I didn't guess that you'd suddenly done that after 12 years. Yeah, I guess my psychic powers must be a little bit below bar. The <laughs> there we are. Don't be silly, Basil. It's written quite clearly on the top of the box. Pains looks more like Baines to me. Well, when Ben gets here, you can give it to him. This is all too What do you think? Doesn't that look like Baines to you? Well, it does to me. I mean, look, there's a B. Excuse me, I, I don't quite understand this. Where is the post office? It's there where it says post office. I'm sorry if it's confusing. <laughs> P off. You've used the abbreviation. Ah, Penny's dropped. Well, I thought you said Boff. I, I thought that Boff was a local, you see. The name of the district, you see. That P looks like a B. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. not yes, it does. <laughs> Excuse me, did you say that was a P or a B? There, there, does it say Boff or does it say Boff? There, there, it's a P, isn't it? P off. P off. Not B off. We've never heard of a post office. Nine? Room nine? Room seven. And well, take these cases to room seven, please. Cat. He thinks Boff is a locale. He thinks what? You know, some zone, some <laughs> province in equatorial Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I will well show you to your room if you're lucky. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. In how many minutes does luncheon commence? Twelve. Yeah, I'll write it down for you. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget my taxi. Two o'clock, please. And if anybody wants me, I will be in the lounge. If anybody wants you, I'll be in the lounge. Anyone in particular? I mean, Henry Kissinger? <laughs> Riding on with a big net. I don't know what it is about this place, but some of the people we get in here... What are you on about? Oh, 
I wish you'd help a bit. You're always refurbishing yourself. <laughs> oh, never mind, never mind. Shut up. You're having a difficult morning. Oh, dear. What happened? Did you get entangled in the night <coughs> down again? Not enough cream in your eclair? Or did you have to talk to all your friends for so long you didn't have enough time to perm your ears? Actually, <laughs> Basil, I've been working. Sure. You know what I mean by working? So I mean getting things done as opposed to squabbling with the guests. I would find it a little easier to cope with some of the cretins we did in here, my little lesson five, as if I got a smidge of cooperation from you. Cooperation? That's a laugh. The day you cooperate, you'll be in a wooden box. Never heard such rudeness. Look, if you think I'm going to fall into some of the jobbos we did in here... Basil, this is a hotel, not a ball school, and it might help business just a little if you could exercise some curse. I suppose talking to Audrey for half an hour on the phone helps business, does it? Well, it was about business for your information. Audrey has some news that may interest you. Oh, really? This will be good. Let me guess. Uh, the mayor wears a toupee? Someone's got nail varnish on their couch? Am I getting warm? There are some hotel inspectors in town. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what did she know? Well, that's all she knows. Well, I mean, how does she know? A friend of Bill Morton's overheard three men in a pub last night comparing notes from places they'd just been in Exeter. Three men? I'll call Bill. You don't have to call Bill, Basil. Just try and exercise a little courtesy. Sure. Speed has arrived here, Paul. Not, not yet. Oh, sorry, Major. No, not yet. <laughs> Excuse me, you don't find any chance of 
Duke of Kent, are you? Uh, no, no, I, I think you've got the wrong person there. <laughs> oh, besides, it's a new order, have you? Ah, uh, yes, I'm going to try your Spanish omelette. Ah, splendid, splendid. I, I assume that all the vegetables within the omelette are fresh? Oh, yes, yes, they're fresh, all right. Including the peas? Oh, yes, yes, they're fresh. They're not frozen, are they? Uh, well, they're frozen, yes. Well, if they're frozen, they're not fresh, are they? Well, well, well I can assure you they're absolutely fresh when they're frozen. <laughs> oh, dear me. There's a lot of this nowadays in hotels. A lot of what? Yes, I, I only eat fresh vegetables. I'll just have a cheese salad. Well, well we can always do the omelette without the peas. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I always feel that the peas are an integral part of the overall flavour, so might I suggest that in future you avail yourself of sufficient quantities of the fresh article? Uh, look, we've been... Yes, yes, yes uh, good, good idea. Have you anything to drink? Ah, uh, yes, I'll have a, a ginger beer, please. A ginger beer? Uh, yes, and a glass of fresh water. Fresh water, <laughs> yes. Telephone call for you in reception. Telephone? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> good afternoon. No, there's no sign, it's not good for me. I'm homesick, yes? Yes, what is the room where you'd like me to sit? Okay. <laughs> I'm in room seven. Oh, room seven. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah, you go up, up, one right. Room seven. Oh, no, no. Yes, please. I show you. No, look up. I'd like a table. A table? Yes, at four one. Oh, table one. Yes, please. Yeah, uh, table one. <laughs> uh, so sorry about that. I think you said for room, and I do it for I myself. No one to know what is it. I'm sorry? No, no, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll try the pate and then you'll land in castle. You room 10? No, room 7. 7, C. No, no, this level 1 is Wednesday. Room 7 is level 5. No, oh, please, yes. Yeah. Please, please.
print stuck in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> It's the chef's fault. What? 
Well, clearly, in a case like this, where the order's been changed and the chef has been informed, it is his responsibility to make sure that the right... Do you want to run the place? No, no, Do you I want don't. to come and run the hotel? No, no. Why are Mr. Hutchins keep taking over? I, I don't want so to. So I'll have the omelette no, and see what his natural charm and wide experience and he'll solve that all the problems. I, come on, Mr. Hutchins. No, come on, I can't. 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 Well, yes, thank you. Oh, good, good. That's all sorted out then. Good. Thank you. Uh, yes. Is there something wrong? Oh, yes, there is. It appears that I have been given an erroneous dish. Uh -huh. Oh, I know this. Thank you, Basil. Thank you, Molly. Come, Mr. Hutchison. Well, you see, I did order the omelette in the first place, but then I changed my mind. Oh, well, I'll just go to the kitchen and find out what happened. <laughs> thank you. Manuel! The bottle. Uh, yes. Where is it? Okay. <coughs> Don't they ace? Oh, I take it, I take it, I take it. Come here. <laughs> You're a waste of space. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, Mr. Hutchison. Thank you very much. No, 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 just a moment, please. Yes? I did not order that. You didn't? I did not. Oh, I'm sorry, but there was an order for that table at this table. Oh dear me, things do seem to be going wrong today, don't they? Ah, oh, sorting things out, are we, sir? Oh. Yes, thank you, uh, Everything all right, Mr. Hutchinson? Well, it appears well, that's that you didn't know. order pate maison, did you, Mr. Hutchinson? No, I didn't. I ordered a cheese salad and a dick. Oh, well, I'll leave you for you to sort it out, dear. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Body, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
right. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. Um, it's always a pleasure to have someone like yourself in here who appreciates the boudoir of the great. I'm afraid most of the people we get in here don't know Bordeaux from a claret. But a Bordeaux is a claret. <laughs> Oh, yes, a Bordeaux is a claret. Yes, but uh, they wouldn't know that. I mean, you obviously drink a lot. Uh, I, mean, I, mean, not a lot. I mean, not a lot. A fair amount. I mean, I mean, the right amount for a connoisseur. I mean, that doesn't mean you're a... Does it? I mean, some people drink it by the crate, but that's not a connoisseur. That's just plain sloth. Oh, oh, yes, a Bordeaux is one of the clarets, all right? Yeah, oh, yes. What? So, uh, you're down here on business, are you? Uh, yes, yes. Um, uh, you're not in the wine trade by any chance? Uh, no, uh, we're not. Oh, it's just that you're so obviously an expert. Uh, no, no, I, I'm not an expert. Oh, yes, you are. No, I'm not an expert. Oh, yes, you are. I am not an expert. We have three of you? Well, yes, there are three of us, but the other two are not here. They're staying in another hotel. Quite. <laughs> so it's all all right then, is it? Uh, what? I mean, the pate was all right. Well, yes, yes, I said so. And the wine's really good? Yes, yes. And the, and the casserole? Well, I haven't tasted it yet. Mmm. <laughs> well, well, I'll leave you to your meal. A bon appetit. Oh, no, no. This is absolutely absurd. I'm sorry, but I do not want the omelette. This nice. I don't want the bloody thing. I've sent it back once already. Here, give it to me. Yeah, I've torn it up. You'll never see it again. <laughs> I failed to see it. <laughs> I told you, all I wanted was a cheese salad. Thank you, Polly. One cheese salad. I'm so glad everything's to your satisfaction. <laughs> no, it is not. I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous. You were supposed to be running a hotel. Oh, look at that. Delicious. I, I've had the omelette. I've had a prawn cocktail with a bloody silly name. Yes, yes. And, and then a plate of stew and then the omelette again. Can we give it down a bit? I, I, all I wanted was a cheese salad. Oh, it wasn't oh, as though I'd ordered it. It was a good one. For a man who's supposed to be running a hotel. Yes, thank you. Your behaviour, Mr. Fox. Thank you Bobby. so much. Your yes. behaviour you is so absolute. Oh! oh, oh that's yes. that's <laughs> why we got it. Delicious. Thank you yes. so much. Thank you. Yes. 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 Oh, 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 oh. 
Have I said something funny, Mr. Pulte? Well, sort of pithy, I suppose. Really? Well, here's the punchline. <laughs> now, I am going upstairs to my room to get my belongings, and when I come down, I do not expect to receive a bill. So you've handled that then, Happy Basil? Yes, dear, thank you. Leave it to me. <laughs> it's that, I don't know if you realise, but he's a regular customer of ours. Oh, oh, he loves it here. It's his second home. It's just that we, we always have this sort of, I don't know why, but he seems to like it. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, but the only danger is, of course, that someone will think that he's really not satisfied or, or that the fighting's real, you know, and tell someone. Uh, you won't mention it, will you? Uh, we'd, we'd be delighted to offer you dinner here tonight to show our gratitude. What? Dinner tonight, would you? No, no, I, I can't tonight. Uh, tomorrow night? Uh, no, I should be leaving tomorrow. All right, 50 pounds. <laughs> 50 pounds, not to mention it. <laughs> oh, 60 then, 60, not to write about it. You know, books, articles, letters. I think you've got me confused. I don't know, I understand. What you don't mean? Oh, please, please. It's taken us 12 years to build this place up. Please, don't put us in the book. If you put us in the book, we're finished. The hotel guy! Oh! I shouldn't have said it! Oh, what have I done? Surely she's 
so far. You called that far? It's not big enough to drown a mouth. It's disgraceful. I wish you were a mouse, I'd show you.
<laughs> I'll have to end the sunset after you'll remember me, didn't he? And well... And that was work I... What were you saying, Mr. <laughs> Turn it on! What? Turn it on! Turn... Turn... It... On! Oh, I know that is the 
done with that this morning. That's all. All right, so don't do it again. <laughs> yes, dear? It's Mrs. Richards. A fatal accident? She's had some money taken. Uh, it's the fault. It's Uncle Polly. Oh, oh, that's all right, but don't tell anyone else. Not even me. You know what's up again. Yes. <laughs> but help me handle this. I can't get in a word in age rate. She's in a practical state. She has 85 pounds taken from her room. Stable searches, baby. She wants to call the police. What do you do with someone like that? She just keeps on. Hello, Mrs. Richards. How very nice to see you. Are you enjoying your stay? There's no need to shout. I have my hearing aid on. Oh. Mrs. Richards? I have just been up to my room. Eighty-five pounds has been taken from my bag, which I have hidden under the mattress. Oh, yes? It's a disgrace. I haven't been here a day. What sort of stuff do you employ here? Mrs. Richards? If you knew anything at all about running a hotel, this sort of thing wouldn't happen. Well, what have you got to say for yourself?
breakfast. <laughs> I 
Ethiopian then? It's in with, uh, in with, uh... Did you say it was in your pocket? Excuse yes. me. What was it doing in your pocket? Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Richards. Uh, can I explain? You're not explaining anything. You're completely loopy. The man is about you. Yes, 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 I am. I am completely loopy. Uh, uh, that's why I gave him some later last night. What? You, you see, there's been a terrible mistake. Uh, that, that money there is in fact mine. Yours? Uh, yes, yes, as the major will confirm. You see, uh, I was saving up for a present for my wife, right? And th that's why I couldn't send him just now. But uh, uh, I, I gave it to the major last night just to look after you, see? Oh, what rubbish? This is mine. The, the, the major will confirm what I said. Uh, uh, would you verify that, major? Uh, what, uh, what? The, the money. <laughs> the money I gave you last night. You have the money I won on the horse. A horse? What is he whispering? What does he say? He says he won on a horse. Why is on a horse? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Do you remember me giving it to you? Think. Oh, Dave, you did give me that money that you won on that horse. <laughs> 